Will people just not leave you alone? Do you find yourself being taken advantage of? <laughs> Does your worthless life not have any meaning? Why can't the weekend feel his face when he's around me? If you've asked yourself any or all of these questions at any point of your life, then you need pepper spray. I used to be a pathetic degenerate before I found pepper spray. Now I'm the man in charge. Now, I'm the man in charge. Thanks, pepper spray! The active ingredient in pepper spray is capsaicin, which is extracted from real peppers, making it a great defense tool for hippies and vegans. Capsaicin is extracted from silly chili flesh and seed by grinding it to a dust and suspending the powder in ethanol, which will then evaporate and leave a waxy capsaicin resin behind. Because the powder is refined and pressurized, it is around 3 million times more effective than throwing chili seeds at your assailant. Pepper spray clocks in at 15 million to 16 million Scovilles. Scovilles are the measure of spiciness. Now to put that in context, the jalapeno measures in at only 2,500 or 5,000 Scovilles. As soon as you put something in a can, it becomes an aerosol, and everyone knows that aerosols are cool. Now, allow me to demonstrate the power of 15 million Scovilles on my friend here, Jack. <laughs> That's what you get for eating my gogurt. Ow, it burns! Great. Oh god, it burns still. <laughs> a normal person will be incapacitated by pepper spray for around 50 to 90 minutes. Unless you're Jack. He's been like this for around two hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> because pepper spray has capsaicin in it, it can be used in a wide variety of different scenarios. It can be used for self-defense, assault, and, because of the capsaicin content, it can even be used for cooking. I love the extra added kick of the capsaicin in my lines. Ugh, give me your lines! Psycho, psycho, get away, get away! C18H27NO3, colloquially known as capsaicin. And this is what you look like, so you know it's good. Pepper spray was never designed to kill, but sometimes it can lead to death if the person who's being attacked has asthma or there is another agent involved. Police riot, stop! He's dead. Oh my god, that's number 62 on the list of deaths in the last 30 years from pepper spray. Listen up, you birds. This is your history lesson on pepper spray. Capsaicin, the main ingredient in pepper spray, was first found in its impurest form in 1816. Not until 1898 was it extracted in its purest form, and then in 1930 it was first synthesized. But it wasn't until 1980 where it found commercial success and became a legalized form of self-defense weapon. And that's your history lesson for today, birds. We interviewed a handful of people on their thoughts on pepper spray. Now joining us, Billy Bob Newton Thornton, well, I tell you, I just got done darn finished being pepper sprayed, and I'll tell you, it sure does hurt. I give pepper spray the thumbs down. Hi, it's me, your friendly neighborhood mom, and I was just out walking my darling little angel, Santi, when we got jumped by some creepos, and lucky boy did I have my pepper spray to defend me, and it came in clutch. So I give pepper spray two thumbs up, and so does Santi. Please buy our product, Pepper Spray, for only 38 payments of $39.95. Please buy so our families can eat this one. Call now, buy 13 and get the next 26 free. Or the pepper spray. You hit everything but the camera. <laughs>